this, so I'm gonna need everybody to bow their heads. Bow your heads, we're gonna pray. Bow your heads, heads down. All right. Our Father, who blart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Lord of Lords and King of Queens. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I was raised a little more traditionally. Uh, my family only ever used the Kevin James version of the Bible. Ooh, the listeners really liked that one. Thank you to those of you listening to my jokes. I appreciate it. I, uh, do you guys like seasonal jokes? Is it too late to do seasonal jokes? I know it's, it's January. Is it too late? No. No, it's not? Do, I appreciate that. Do what you want. So Halloween was recently. Uh, my, uh, my roommate, he was like, Hey Alex, I've got this fake mustache. Uh, what's a joke, what's a, what's a costume that I could have that uses this fake mustache that's not racist? And like, good on him for asking that. As a white guy, it's really sensitive. But I couldn't think of one. I was like, uh, Steve Harvey, no, I'm black. Uh, Pancho Villa, no, Hispanic. Uh, oh, you could be Hitler. In my head, the least racist costume for him to be, since he was white, was Adolf Hitler, who had a mustache, because I forgot for a second how racist Hitler was. That was like his whole deal. He literally wrote a book about it. Thank you. All right. I, uh, it, it's almost February, uh, which means it's almost my favorite time of year. That's right. It's almost the time for white people to complain about Black History Month. Let's talk about it. You don't get to tell me as a white person, oh, why isn't there a white history month? Why do black people get a whole month? You don't get to complain about that when every month is truck month. You don't get, like, I'm not even asking you, like, keep February also truck month, but let's just also talk about black people. You can't pretend that black people are less important than a Chevy Silverado. <laughs> at least twice as long as trucks. <laughs> I was out in public by accident one time, and I heard a guy say, Man, if I could suck my own dick, I'd never have to talk to another woman as long as I lived. Gross, don't say that, why would you? But then I thought about it for a second, and I was like, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that we as a nation are one government-sponsored yoga program away from guys like this never talking to another woman as long as they live? That feels worth the taxpayer dollars. I feel like we could even sell it across the aisle. Like, even the right wing would really be into that. Because what's more self-sufficient, what's more Reaganomic, than not relying on charity for your pleasure and just staying at home, literally pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps and just going to town on your downstairs for a week. That's like the most American thing you can do. I'm pretty sure that was even the plot of Atlas Shrugged. Just staying at home, sucking your own dick. Thank you for liking that joke, you're right. <laughs> like, you could be you could be the John Gull. You could be like John Gull, but instead of locomotives, it's auto fellatio. <laughs> One person in this room has ever read a book, and I respect it. <laughs> you guys, I, uh, oh my god, someone wrote, someone else wrote my, oh, this is a good one. Uh, did you guys hear that they, uh, they uncovered the body of the first man to ever overdose on drugs? He's like an ancient Mesopotamian. First guy ever to overdose on drugs. Scientists are calling it the world's coolest skeleton. Let's move on to another joke. Here's another joke. If you're gonna construct a glory hole, make sure all the guys you wanna blow are all the same height. Let's move on. It's like a logistical problem. There's like one guy who always knows he needs to crouch. <laughs> and then like, like another guy's always gotta bring a stool. And that kind of like undermines the anonymity because you can hear the scraping of the stool on the <laughs> Oh, there's Jeffrey. 
He's not very tall. He's got a great tit. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you, got, do you, you two are listening. Do you guys want to hear about a dog I saw? I'm sorry for singing you out. Do you guys want to hear about a dog I saw? Yeah. It's good. This is a, hey, can we give it up for the Yeti for being a really dog heavy bar? I've never performed for so many dogs in my whole life. And now I don't want to perform for humans anymore. That guy at that booth back there is a better audience member than this area. Uh, so, I saw this dog, my friend's got this dog, and it's like long and low to the ground, so you think dogs, like, I'm not a dog expert, I don't know what the different dogs look like. Uh, so you, you think dachshund is like long and low to the ground, but it's also hairless, which is my least favorite dog trait. I don't need, I don't need a sack of skin bringing me my newspaper. Cover that shit up. So I bend down, I'm petting this like long, hairless dog, and it just coils around my arm. No thank you. We had to feed it a rat to get it to uncoil. I don't know what kind of dog it was. I'm not an expert. It's probably a spaniel. Since I was raised in the church, but I didn't get any of the cool skills. Like, I can't heal anybody with the power of the Lord. I can't exercise demons. When I handle a snake, it just does the normal snake thing and bites me. Uh, I never learned how to pray in tongues, which seems really cool and useful. Uh, so I've had to learn it as an adult. And I want you guys to tell me how I'm doing. All right, here we go. Watch next class in the last one. Keep your eyes on it. Take a few points on this one. The Kerosene photo will get a frank day. Can we see on time trip? I see this guy here to satisfy. The Kerosene saw all my kind of films. He had all my films. Can we get a second? 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 Can we get a second?